This shorty is to show how triangulation works in laying out a building in a, from a survey. Important is that surveying is a fast-changing technology. There's new lasers, computerized field instruments, and GPS global positioning systems or satellites that created an entirely new technology that's shifting the way buildings are being laid out. The result is that the layouts are much more accurate and the demands for accuracy are much higher also. First of all, there's a survey monument that establishes the basis for all of the measurements. In this particular survey, that monument is over here. Let me zoom to that monument. This is the bearing and the distance from this corner to this monument. A similar mark is found on almost all surveys. The property corners are therefore located from this monument. Here's the first corner here. The other corners also have bearings and distances along the property line. Designers lay out this building based on those bearings or those survey markers. The idea then is to position the building, a corner of the building, based on these property lines. To start, to start the surveys will set up their instruments on one corner. Let's zoom to this corner. Note that the survey instrument, the tripod, and the total station are located directly over the top of that corner. A plumb bob is used. This is a weighted pointer is used to point to the corner and set up the survey instrument. Surveyors will use that instrument to sight the corners and establish the bearings. From one corner, to another. Once the corners are established, an intermediate distance can be measured. Now from this point, we know the bearing and distance in this direction can swing an arc in this direction in order to reestablish this property line and then set up an intermediate distance along this uh, along this bearing. So this person measures out a distance from this corner to this intermediate position. Now that can be done with lasers in modern technology. This line is side A of a triangle. The surveyors then from this line swing an arc pointing in this direction to establish this corner. The angle of this arc is it's fairly simple mathematics. This is side A and the distance in side B is from this point to this point. We now have a known distance for side A and a known distance for side B. We can use trigonometry to calculate this angle and the distance for side C. It's called a tangent, but it's not really important for this demonstration. So there is the triangulation. Equally important is the elevation of this corner. On the elevation of this corner is shown on the survey as some distance above sea level. That sea level elevation sets all of the elevations or all of the heights within the buildings. In other words, this is a con constant horizontal reference point for the rest of the building. 